I am on a mission to find living relatives on my mum's side of the family, specifically my mum's father's side. Now, let me tell you a story really quick. Basically, my mum died 20 years ago when I was 17. And long story short, we didn't have the conversation about her side of the family history. I know tiny bits. She didn't ever have any brothers or sisters. She was an only child. Just never consider the fact that she might have some living relatives or I might have living relatives. But now, you know, in light of recent things that have happened in my own family, I've managed to come to terms with them and I'm desperate to find out if I've got any living relatives on my mum's side. So this website that I've been using is actually really good and it's completely free. Now you might have heard of it, it's called Family Search. It is a really good, simple, free website you can use for your family tree. Now free forever, no catch is nothing. The way it works is that you put in your information and if there's a match that somebody else has already put in, it will tell you. And this is the beauty of this when it comes to finding these living relatives is that even on a free account, like I said, totally free, you can then actually look at the people who've added the other people if there's a match. Now, I was surprised. I didn't think I was going to find any matches for my family, but I've already found several strands and even on my mum's side. So I'm getting really excited at this point. And then what you can do, and this is better than, like, say, Find My Past, the other website I've been using, is that you can actually see the names of the users who put them in. Now, that's not to say they're real names. This is just a username at this point. But depending on their settings, and you can choose your settings when you sign up as well, you can perhaps see their email, which I found one a lady who's put my grandfather, my great uncle on there in 2016. And she's in the US and I've seen her email. So not only have I messaged her on the platform, but I've also emailed her. And I haven't heard anything back yet. But, you know, just to see somebody has been putting in my family's data in there is really exciting on that side because of all the other things that have happened I couldn't find as well. And basically, you can see the username, you can message them on the platform, as I said, and email them. But you can also then do what's called the kinship calculator. And so you click on it, and if they've got it switched on, you can see what connection you are. Now, for my mother's mother's side of the family, I've actually found someone who <laughs> had the same surname as my great-grandmother's maiden name. So we're the same surname. And she'd put people on the family tree with that same surname. So I had a look, kinship calculator. Turns out we're 11th cousins. <laughs> How cool is that? I mean, we're talking 11 generations, maybe 12, when there was a direct connection. And it shows you that the flow diagram is unbelievable. Like, I just smile because obviously, you know, most people would say, oh, it's not really a relative, but we're connected. And I can see exactly where. It may be 12 generations ago, but we're still connected. And that just blew my mind totally free. Now, if you compare this, let's say, to Find My Past, which I've been using, which is really good for UK websites. And I'll, I'll do another video on that, which you should definitely check out. But basically, Find My Past, it's not as friendly for contacting people. It, it's really concerned about anonymity and understandably, but it doesn't really let you engage with those people. Family Search, actually, the focus is on people collaborating to make a family tree that's available to everyone, which is cool. And you might be worried, oh, I don't know if I want people's data out there. Well, think about it this way. Your grandparents' data is available probably on the census and the 1939 register. Then everybody's birth records are available. You know, death records are publicly available. So I wouldn't worry about that side of it, especially if you, like me, want to find living relatives. Now, I'll do another video update when I've got something. But so far, I'm just excited at the prospect. And I should add, I found another person as well who's added stuff on there. They haven't got the kinship setting as public, so I can't see just yet. And I should add that in the first instance, the lady who's added the details about my grandfather and my great uncle, she actually, when I click the kinship calculator, it says she's not related. So it could be that she's married into that family. I don't know, but at least she's gonna have some info because she's put their details in. And you're only gonna do that if there's a connection. So whatever that connection may be, I'm just excited to find out. But check out Family Search, and I can do another video on how to use it as well, but go and check that out, have a look and see what you come up with. 